Hey kids, today I am celebrating a great national holiday. National Bad Hair Day. Yeah, I'm also getting ready for the next great national holiday. National Smelly Armpit Day. Yeah, yeah. give it another week, I'll be ready. All right, so back to the business of guitars. Welcome back to Guitar Quackery, where I'm about to show you a quick tip on how to restring a, not a guitar, well, yeah, a guitar, an arched top guitar. This is a Gibson L50. This is my guitar. Uh, yeah, I had to restring it. Many people have asked me how to deal with the bridge on an arch top when you restrain it. So I thought I'd make a short video. Uh, yeah, so uh, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you're gonna restring an arch top guitar, you better have some post-it notes. Let's go over to the shop, I'll show you. I need to restring this old Gibson arch top L50. Uh, so the bridge is just a floater. So on an arch top, you can just put two post-it notes like this and mark off the, uh, you know, uh, position. Uh, make sure you place something underneath the tailpiece because it's gonna hit the finish. And when you loosen the strings, the bridge just comes off. And then, obviously, you will know where to put it back. Simple. One thing I should emphasize is that an archtop guitar is not one of those. This is a, a Gibson AS335. Well, it does have an arched top, but it's not an archtop guitar, right? It's a semi-hollow guitar. So uh, I often see that people make the mistake of mimicking what they see on a guitar like this, or what they see on a Les Paul, and they put the bridge at an angle, like it would be on a Les Paul or on an ES-335. But you see, on an archtop guitar, because it's a different guitar, the bridge should not be at an angle. I mean, it's still gonna be at an angle, but it just won't be at, a, at an angle, right? It'll be at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> 90 degrees to the center line, right? On an arch top. So not slanted. All right. Another thing I want to mention is that I'm not going to show you in this video how to how to put the strings on uh, tuning machines, okay? Because I am making another video about that. Now that's going to be a detailed, comprehensive video that you're going to like. All right. So subscribe so you don't miss it. Uh, now what else? Oh yeah. So there are a few more details that I need to uh, talk about about the arch top bridge about putting the strings back on so let's go back to the shop and let's talk about that so first you should put the two e strings on and uh you know just to hold down the bridge i already removed the post-its uh you can remove this as well uh, yeah you know i double checked uh position of the bridge with this uh, that's something more complicated and uh that's it now we can put the rest of the strings on. All right, so I hope that was clear. I hope that helped you out. If it did, you know what to do, right? Click, like, share, and subscribe. So I hope I was clear because I don't like to repeat myself. <laughs> just kidding you. So, uh, yeah, I love this guitar. I've had this guitar for quite a while. Um, if you have any questions, just po <laughs> a guitar quackery. I mean, a no, I if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. Okay, thank you. Just post them in the comments, right? Let's be practical. All right, so I hope that helped you out. And uh, stay tuned, subscribe.